my God. It is two o'clock in the morning. Just got done seeing Transformers Rise of the Beasts. And I have to tell you my thoughts. I have to tell you my reaction, my thoughts, my overall review for it. So get ready. I'll try to keep it kind of succinct to you. I'm still processing a lot of things, but what what a great movie for me. I, I, I really loved it. Now, you're not going to go into this thinking it's Shakespeare, but it is a great flick. So my name is Jimmy G in the place to be. So welcome to the good, the bad, the awesome. If this is your first time here. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, if you've been here before, thank you, thank you, thank you. So before we get into my review, we got... Uh, well, once we get into my review, stay tuned afterwards because I'm going to talk about our June giveaway. I'm trying to do a giveaway once a month and as well as our Universal Studios giveaway and how you can enter into both of those. But, oh my gosh, what an adrenaline ride on that. So Transformers Rise of the Beast uh, officially is in theaters tomorrow, uh, June what is it, uh, June 9th, uh, so Friday. Uh, but we got to see the Thursday night uh, opening. There was only a few of us in the theaters. And so uh, really, really great movie. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of share my thoughts there's gonna be some spoilers. Uh, so I'll make sure to let you know when we'll start getting into spoiler territory. So that way, if you don't wanna watch that, you can fast forward to when we're out of spoiler territory because it'll say on the bottom, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Uh, and then we'll give you my final thoughts and go into that too as well. But before we get into that, just really quickly, uh, this movie, uh, just the basic synopsis, I'm just gonna read this straight from, straight from IMDb. It says, uh, Basically, during the 90s, a new faction of Transformers, the Maximals, join Autobots as allies in the battle for Earth. And so very simple synopsis. And of course, you got the normal Peter Cullen playing Optimus Prime. Who else could play him? I know there's been other voices, but Peter Cullen is the godfather as Optimus Prime. Then you have, I think they cast this movie very well. I mean, Ron Perlman, he played Optimus Primal. Peter Dinklage played a very awesome Scourge. Um, then you have Michelle Yeoh as Air Razor. Uh, you had Pete Davidson as Mirage. I typically am not a big Pete Davidson fan, but I didn't have much as, that much of his Pete Davidson-ness in this. Uh, so he did, did a really good job. You had uh, Liza Koshy as RC. Um, John DiMaggio, if you don't know who he was, he was the voice of Bender, uh, but he was Stratosphere. That's one we hadn't seen yet in any of the trailers, but he's there. Sorry if that's a minor spoiler. Uh, David Sokolov, Rhinox and Battle Trap, uh, Michelle J. Rodriguez, Nightbird, and then Coleman Domingo as Unicron, Cristo Fernandez, if you watch uh, Ted Lasso, he's Danny Rojas, he played Wheeljack, and Togiai Krisa as Cheetor, and then your main human actors, which you had Anthony Ramos as Noah Diaz, and Dominique Fishback as Elena Wallace. And so really, it's it's it, this, this movie takes place in the 90s, so one of the things I appreciate about this movie is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is phenomenal. Now, before we get into any of this stuff, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in right here. So, trailer. We're in the middle of an ongoing war. We love that the big guys join the fight. Roll out! Wow, that was corny when I said it out loud. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You've never faced anything like this. It's about to go down. Oh, it's about to go down. 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 Who wants smoke? Who wants smoke? We got to hold on the team. So everybody is a kick strap. And they all go. Keep a stick to the bridge. Pop it, but I ain't a troll. I'm a mama. Ain't nobody out here playing for no more. If you keep your eyes open, life will show you everything you need to know. Now that's top tier manifestation. I'm in the old banter, just one answer. I'm an animal. Gorillas in the trap with them. We find this alone, or we find it together. Together. Let's get it. Turn it up to the maximum. To the maximum. 
to the next Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Yeah, turn it up. I'm never leaving Brooklyn again. On my soul. All right, you're back from the trailer, so let's let's uh let's talk about again the soundtrack. Soundtrack was amazing. I mean, you had Wu Tang Clan. You had you had just all your rap and R&B. Diggable Planets. Oh gosh, that was so cool that they brought that in. Uh, so really, really great soundtrack. You can find that on Apple Music or any streaming service that you stream off of. Um, the the cinematography really great job it was i mean of course this is going to be a cgi movie uh and so there was a lot of cgi involved but it wasn't like that shaky blurry michael bay transformers from the bayverse transformers uh i think it was really crisp clean succinct the 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 robots looked great the autobots the terracons the maximals looked phenomenal you can tell the emotion in their faces and things like that uh the 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 explosions the effects were great in it i love the fact that in this movie you know they say it's kind of a they didn't say it was a reboot but i would say they rebooted a lot of things uh, in this, but they did give a lot of tributes uh, to the Bayverse, to to G1, to all the different things. If, if you watch the movie, you'll see a lot of Easter eggs. For example, an Easter egg, and this is just kind of a minor spoilery, it's not really spoilery, Mirage, who, who, who's, a, who's a Porsche in the movie, some of us were crying foul, it's like, no, he's a, he's a formula racer. Well, they give a tribute to that. So that's, that's really cool. So, okay, great. Awesome. But, uh, yeah, we, we all know G1 people know that Mirage is a formula racer, but Hey, in this, he, he was, he was a, a Porsche. That's great. Uh, so, but, uh, plot wise, I mean, it's a very simplistic, you know, Hey, we got to save the world. We've got to save the earth, uh, from a big, bad threat that's happening. Now the big, bad threat is Unicron, uh, and that, that you've seen in the trailers. Um, the part that gave me the biggest thrill about Unicron is when Scourge is talking to Unicron, the Unicron theme from the Transformers 86 movie uh, plays in the background. And I'm just like, this is awesome. This is great. I mean, it just kind of just kind of ties that in and Unicron as this devastating beast. Now, now that the movie's out, I hope they're releasing more toys and Hasbro, if you're watching this review, Find some way to give us a Unicron again. If you have to reissue that HasLab of Unicron and just kind of retool it, I wouldn't mind having this Unicron because he had some pretty cool features. Now, um, th th I, th I know it'd be huge, but find a way. Whether you make him Titan class, whether you make him as big as that HasLab, uh, I would pay money to have this Unicron. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going on Amazon right now. I was debating whether I order Scourge or not. I'm going to get Scourge because he was amazing. It was awesome. Scourge is, of course, a minion of Unicron as, long, as well as Nightbird and Battletrap. Nightbird is a car. Uh, Battletrap was like kind of a tow truck. Scourge was a pickup truck. The cool thing about Scourge, he has all these insignias of the robots that he's killed, and he was no respecter of robots. He killed Maximals, he killed Predacons, he killed Autobots, he killed Decepticons. He was a minion of Unicron. Uh, now, if you're used to the 86 movie, you know that Galvatron was uh, Unicron's minion. And then if you look at the Netflix War for Cybertron, you know that Nemesis Prime and Galvatron. And then th there's all sorts of things, but this is this, is this universe. And so... Of on a scale of good, bad, awesome, I thought this movie was pretty awesome. Uh, now it's not Shakespeare. Uh, this is not like uh, I would compare this movie. If I was to compare it to the nearest thing for me, the other love that I have is Star Wars trilogy and the Star Wars movies. Um, the trilogy, the original trilogy, lives in my heart. But I thought a really great one uh, movie was Rogue One. Rogue One was kind of that prequel that I always wanted. And so uh, whereas. For the Transformers world, the 1986 movie will always live in my heart as as that Transformers movie. Um, the Bayverse was good for what it was. Uh, uh, I, I you know I, I watch it. It's a it's a good tribute, kind of like Clone Wars is, is was good for what it was. Some people grew up on the Clone Wars, just like some people grew up on the Bayverse. So, but this movie here uh, was that like kind of like that Rogue One to me. It was the the Rise of the Beasts. I thought did an amazing job continuing the story from Bumblebee, of, although the only person that appears in Bumble, from Bumblebee is Bumblebee in this movie. Uh, but 
uh, really great movie with a lot of heart. Uh, I mean, the plot, again, it's not uh, not going to throw you for a loop, but there is something in the end, so make sure you stay in the end for that. So now, after I got all that out of the way, my thoughts around those things, the toys that need to be made, this is the warning. I'm going to get into spoiler territory now. Spoiler territory. So you've been warned. Go ahead and fast forward this video towards the end to get my final thoughts and hear about the competitions and things that we got going on. But here we go. Spoilers. You've been warned. Spoilers. So here we go. So uh, Unicron comes in. We've seen in the trailer Bumblebee getting stabbed by Scourge. And Bumblebee, here's the big thing. He dies. Dies in the movie. And everyone's just like, I was heartbroken. I, I, almost, I was almost in tears. Why was I almost crying over a Transformer? Um, because Bumblebee was just this amazing robot. And he dies. How dare you kill him? It was akin to them killing off Prowl and, and, and uh, well, and, and, Ironhide and Ratchet from the 86 movie. Oh, Bumblebee. Let's give a little moment for Bumblebee. Rest in peace. But he dies in this movie. And Optimus Prime, when you first meet him, he's like that. He reminds me of Luke Skywalker from The Last Jedi. Just this grumpety old man who wants nothing to do thinks all humans are evil uh he thinks that you know that the the jedi must end oh, well no that's that's the the movie he he just he thinks humans are bad he's wanting to try to find his way off this earth and just get out of there uh so you you run into grumpety old prime and so they have to find basically what happens at the beginning of the movie we meet the the, the it starts out with a bang it starts out with the the i know i'm all over the place it starts out with the the maximals uh and it has ape link uh and they fight uh we see scourge and his minions come because unicron's about to eat their planet and so they have the trans warp key which basically will if unicron ever got a hold of that would allow him to travel through dimensions and, and, and through space and time and devour any planet he wants to. So Ape Link goes, hey, Optimus Prime will take this warp key, get off this planet, I'm gonna hold these guys back. And Scourge does his thing and just dispatches of, of, of Ape Link, but Prime on them leave, and guess what planet they get to? Earth. Uh, so they've got the trans warp key, and then Unicron says to Scourge, go find this key and bring it and let me know so that way you can bring me back into those dimensions. So fast forward, we're in the 90s, we meet the Autobots, uh, and um, and they see all of a sudden the part of the key gets activated, and the Autobots see that and they notice, oh, that's the trans warp key. That could get us back to Cybertron and get us off this lousy planet that we got stuck on that I wish I never would have brought y'all to. And so uh, they go go to find that and they get involved with uh with uh, ramirez's character who helps them long story short is down on his luck helps them out uh and um and scourge finds it and so it's kind of a race to get this key and uh and 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 optimus prime when he first fights scourge doesn't do a great job and i'm wondering if it's because he's a little rusty and he's a little grumpity uh but he almost gets his butt kicked and that's how that's how bumblebee kind of sacrifices himself to save optimus prime uh and so but uh everything leads to like they get half the key and then and then they go okay uh well we need to find the other half of the key which they find out is in peru so they travel to peru where you meet wheeljack uh who of all the bots, I would say is the weakest of them. I wish they would have done Wheeljack as that engineer, but he seemed a little aloof. I don't mind that he was a truck uh, or a, a minivan. I, I just want him to be smart. Uh, like he was in the car in the cartoons. Uh, I get more comic relief, that type of stuff, but you know, <laughs> Wheeljack's one of my favorites. Uh, that's what Mirage was there for. Pete Davidson's there to give you that comic relief. You don't need Wheeljack to give that to you as well. Uh, so they get to Peru, they find that part of the key. As you get uh, guess, Scourge is there too. Scourge gets uh, Scourge gets the key. Uh, Scourge corrupts Air Razor. Air Razor dies uh trying to you know and and optimus primal kind of brings prime back to his senses and saying hey 
Uh, the humans, we trusted them. They helped us out throughout the ages. You know, we we need to join this fight. And so Prime be starts becoming his prime self again towards the end of the movie. And so basically what happens is Scourge goes to summon Unicron and they go, hey, um, we need to go stop them. And the only people that can stop them are the humans. And we'll we'll stall for time to let you have that. So bing, bang, boom. Uh, what ends up happening is Unicron almost comes to Earth. Optimus Prime uh, gets his cojones defeats Scourge uh, and uh, all sorts of stuff. Mirage ends up dying. But here again, we all thought Bumblebee was dead. Bumblebee came back to life because there's Energon on Earth and the Energon got activated and brought Bumblebee back. And so Bumblebee ba Bumblebee's back so he doesn't quite die all the way. Uh, but Mirage dies. But Mirage gives up his parts and Ramirez has the exosuit, which reminds me of G12 as well. And so bing, bang, boom, they're fighting. And so the, the girl, long story short, has the code and she tries to put the code in, but uh, then Scourge destroys the console where the code to override, to shut down the, the warp bridge. He destroys the console and Unicron's on his way in. Um, and then that Prime says, you know what? I'm gonna destroy the key. You know, so that way, that's the only way to destroy, to stop Unicron. And they're like, there's got to be another way. We want to make sure you get home. He goes, no, this is most important. You all get away because once I destroy this key, it'll probably destroy me too as well. And so, but long story short, key gets destroyed. Unicron goes back and is trapped in space time. He's still around, gets trapped. Scourge dies. Uh, all the, the Terracons that were there dies. And then um, Optimus Prime almost dies, but uh, Ramirez's character uh, saves him. And then it kind of ends with Autobots and Maximals. We're here to protect this world uh, because evil will come again. And so, uh, and then Ramirez, here's the biggest spoiler of them all. At the end of the movie, goes for a job interview, which he thinks is just a normal, just kind of security job, but comes to find out that that person who's the head of that uh, little like meat packing plant, wherever it is, knew what happened. And so we think, oh, he's government. He's got to be like a nest agent or something like that. G.I. Joe. He's part of G.I. freaking Joe. And so get out there and support this movie because I want to see a Transformers G.I. Joe crossover. Oh, how amazing would that be? <sighs> How amazing would that be? G.I. Joe and Transformers together. And so he tries to recruit uh, Ramirez's character into that. And that's it. That's the end of the movie. Leaves us with G.I. Joe. I like went, what? Really audibly loud in the theater. I clapped. I was the only one that clapped. Everyone else was probably tired. But I was like, this, this is amazing. Uh, so I can't wait to see what they do. And the interesting thing is not a single Decepticon was mentioned. The only time you saw anything that had to deal with Decepticons was an insignia from Scourge from someone he killed. Uh, so, but, uh, so I think they're saving that for what they're going to do with this universe. They, they've just kind of rebooted this thing so they can kind of Bay versus its own dimension timeline. And by using the trans warp key, they can kind of say, well, this is just a different dimension now, or this is a different timeline. And what's interesting is like, uh, it's just, it's just, it just was a really good movie. I mean, there was a lot to process. I'll probably go see it again to give you more of my thoughts and more things about that, but that's what it is. So end of spoilers, spoilers are done. So overall, final thoughts on the movie. I loved it. I thought the casting was on point. Uh, some of the acting was a little bit cheesy. What do you expect from a summer movie? Uh, summer movies are supposed to sell toys, but Hasbro, your toys suck right now for this movie. Please release some other ones. Please continue releasing the studio ones, and I can't wait to see release the Stratosphere toy. That would be awesome if it was a Commander class. Uh, but uh, I'd love to see again a Unicron toy. But uh, but it's there to sell the toys. I can't find any of the deluxe figures anywhere on those. But I think the only figure I'm probably going to get from this is going to be Scourge uh, on that. But uh, pretty. <laughs> awesome movie i recommend going to see it i think it would be family friendly your kids would love it there's some there's some terrifying elements in it but i think i think the i think the kids would 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 love this so if you're a bayverse fan you're going to be happy uh with kind of how things look and if you're a g1 fan you're gonna be kind of happy let's put it this way you're not going to please everybody and many of you are going to say what well, you're just a fanboy and you're just fanboy gushing you know what 
darn skippy I'm a fanboy. And you know what? I look at this stuff and I look at the beauty of it. And I look at the beauty of everything. And I think they did a really good job telling a really great story. Uh, plain and simple. Is it a 10 out of 10? No, not at all. I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. I thought it was really great. Uh, and, I, and I can't wait to see what they do with the franchise going forward. Uh, hopefully Peter Cullen becomes our new Betty White and hangs around a while to still continue playing Optimus Prime. But that's my thoughts on the movie. I hope you go and see it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Uh, please put in the comments what you thought of the movie. Uh, please be nice in those comments too as well. If you didn't like it and disagree with it, that's fine. I don't mind that. So before, and so at the, so this is the end. So we're going to talk about a couple of competitions that are going on. So first of all, uh, the universal competition where you can get this bobblehead, watch the universal videos and comment of your vacation, favorite vacation that you ever took. Uh, and I will be, uh, drawing someone at random, just like, and subscribe, comment on your favorite vacation under those universal videos that'll be posting. We already posted one today and there'll be a couple more posting, uh, over the weekend on, on that. So you can get this bobblehead absolutely free. Do drawing one person at random. I really love it. There he is. And then the June giveaway, because this is transformer month for me. I think I love it. It's great. So y'all have seen this box before I've done an unboxing of this box, but there's gonna be new stuff in this box that's gonna go to one lucky person. So all you have to do to win this box is basically, I, I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe because uh, I want people who, who, who haven't subscribed, who can't subscribe, who, who don't wanna you know get into another service, but still love watching YouTube videos. I want them to have a chance to get it. Uh, so all you gotta do is basically comment on this video, your favorite transformer. Uh, so, and if you don't have a favorite transformer, say anything that's in this box will be my favorite transformer. And so that's all you gotta do. And in this box, I am gonna put some goodies in it that you're gonna really love. Uh, it's gonna be a lot better than what I unboxed before, but you're gonna get this box that's filled with some stuff. So just comment on July 1st, we'll be giving away this box. And then we'll also be giving away this guy for the universal thing. So you could win a couple things. And then we are at 295 subscribers. So we're five subscribers away, five subscribers away from 300. And as y'all know, with the 300th subscriber, uh, we're gonna have a 300 giveaway where we're gonna give away a 300 limited edition comic book as well as some other things for 300. I like to celebrate milestones uh, and, and that kind of stuff. So Transformers box giveaway for June uh, and the bobblehead for Universal, almost at 300. Once we hit that, be on the lookout for that 300 giveaway video on those aspects. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please stay young, have fun and be awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye -bye.